Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass where we start to travel around the world collecting treasures before we move on with the storyline because the grappling hook gives us many an opportunity to do so and we've seen ourselves many grappling points or many out of reach things such as this treasure chest over here so let's go grab it let's go grab it indeed and continue on with a treasure hunting episode galore though how I'm gonna get up there is another story there's no pegs is that rock a good enough point? Well, our little fire friend seems to think so. So if we're gonna get up there, first of all, we're gonna need to be on the same level as it. So hopefully from here, we can see our way over. And indeed we can grapple onto the rock. So onwards we go. And a courage gem we get. Brilliant, so we'll be powering that up soon enough. When we head to that island again, but first and foremost, there's so many islands we want to get to first. Pretty much every island at this point has a grappling hook based secret somewhere, someplace, somehow. So with the Cyclone Slate though, we'll move around as fast as possible. Now where do we want to get to again? Ah, da 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 da, sea chart. Let's have a look here. And warp using the backwards N, because we can also pick up something with a salvage arm on our route there. That's a that's a normal N! What am I doing? That's a backwards N. Somehow, even though I know it's backwards, I managed to do it wrong. Like how I can count wrong in the dungeon last. Ho ho ho! I'm quite sad about that. Uh Still, one of the places we want to head to is supposedly the Uncharted Island. That was a seagull? It looked really weird to me at one point. Well, not seagull anymore, that's for sure. And we're going to need to come to a dead stop about here. And see what we can find. Let's get moving. Try not to blow myself up. Of course, again, he goes down at high speed, despite not wanting to destroy everything. Well, they got all that the way then. I'm happy with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, that gust managed to get me, didn't it? I don't like this last mine. He and me are not going to be friends. Why do you have to stay there? Let's just nip it up around him and then we can start thinking about going up again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Ah! Okay, we're through that little bit. Whoa, 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 I'm, I'm weaving though. Oh no, uh. This is gonna be one gap to get it through, isn't it? Uh... Closer, ever closer, but made it all the same. Phew. Well, that's nicely up and out. The surface is the only thing there. Sorry for the screaming. I was a bit worried for a moment. Whew. I don't want to mess up my salvage arm anymore. I don't want to make that guy a rich man for repairing it completely all the time. We got the bell prow ship part. I'm seeing we're getting ourselves quite a few duplicates here. That's for sure. Uncharted Island, keep going. And maybe not on that route. Surprisingly enough, it seems a lot harder for me to draw a straight route than you would think. Quite a bit so. Well, all the same, we'll dock over here on our lovely, well-charted island. It is charted now. I charted it, don't you know? I think I did a pretty spiffing painting. I think it's pretty amazing, don't you? Ah, uh, Zappy, get out of my face, because we're heading back in here. For pegs there be. Though, not one that's going to get me easily over if I jump on it. I just want to jump on them all now. Oh, ah. Right, maybe I'm not grabbing that peg. And grabbing the chest straight off seems a bit easier. That's for sure. We've got ourselves another courage gem. Zipping around to get them all. Man, we're going to catch up with courage that we 
got the Libra power and wisdom that's going to be eaten up. Pretty much. I mean, how much are we on at the moment in our collection? 12, 14, 13. Very close now between a lot of them. So with that said, Uncharted Island, we're off the view again. Well, there's something else to salvage, and then we'll head round to the Fire Island. And I'm pretty sure there'll be something there as well. Treasure hunting episode we go! It's quite amazing how much there is to ooh, pick up late on just for picking up one item. And I guess it wants to gate you somewhat for... Oh, 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 oh! For all the lovely goodies that you can get, if you know what I mean. It doesn't want you to have the orbs too fast. Because if you had them all straight away, you'd probably power up quite nicely. And once to gate them, and the grappling hook seeming as a later item is probably one of the better items for it. Whoa, I nearly swung it right into that bomb then. Alright, should be fine going down here. Apart from that one. Oh man, we got a difficult red rupee again. See, why can I do the difficult stuff, but I can't just go up and down easily? No way we were getting through there with the chest as well. To be honest though, we could have probably busted through. And paid it back with a lot of the rupees we've been picking up anyway. To be honest, now I want to be very much in the middle, just in case a gusty fish decides to crop across like that. I don't want to be going up one of the edges, that's for sure. And even with a bit of weaving and bobbing, I managed to do it fast style again. Maybe my skills are coming back. I just don't know. Let's go for some sand of hours here. We got the spike handrail ship part. Go to the shipyard to customize your ship. Or we're gonna go to our next treasure, of course. And so we come to our next destination, our treasure hopping island tour. Treasure island hopping treasure tour? I don't know what to call it, but first and foremost, there's always stuff to get in the ocean, that's for sure. So send the salvager arm down. And we'll see if we can find ourselves some more sand of hours, which is what I'm really hoping for. Anything to make our next trip, which I'm guessing is going to be pretty soon, down below, faster or easier, is good by me. Of course, this time around we got the bomb chews and the grappling hook to hopefully engage with on some puzzles. So yeah, I've always been wondering why I don't just do like a kind of editing break when I'm going down there. But then it's like you're kind of trying to challenge yourself speed-wise, so that's why I kind of leave it in even if it's more or less the same stuff but this time it probably should be a little bit more different with the bomb chews there and with the grappling hook hopefully we can see a lot of shortcuts or maybe even find ourselves some new treasures well that would be good don't you think well, there we go super speed sam is salvaging this without a problem though he's waving it around like crazy Full speed treasure lifting! Give me some more sand of hours. One minute is a lot of time, really. Well, we got the dignified ship ship part. Oh, duplicates. But still, let's go and land. Because there should be at least one treasure here, if I'm my memory of what was the first island in the game, more or less, for dungeon exploration. Well, we can nearly get ourselves some fish going on here. In fact, seeming we get the chance, to see if I can without messing it up again. What can we catch this time? We've hit it. Can't say my memory's that good for it at the moment, though. Pull down. And let go when it wants to... Jump. That's not that hard to remember. Especially with the big let go thing coming up. We're not drilling in, that's for sure. Only five yards left for another fish to catch. 
Come on, I nearly got ya! More importantly, we need to kind of like release the tension a little bit more before we really reel ya! We got another Skippy Jack! Oh, they're common. Sure, tasty, I'm sure. But still, I was hoping for something new, something good! All the same, Isle of Ember, here we come! A little bit of a delay there, a little bit of one. Seems Beetle's chasing us this time, not Jolene. Oh, is that Jolene behind Beetle's head on the map? It is indeed, she is full steam aheading. Oh, we plan to just warp away whenever you get near us, madame. So, if I remember correctly, the one place we could not get to was over here. Aha, no problemo. Red Chew, you're not a problem for me. I'm gonna pick up a courage gem for my trouble. Had to remember this point, didn't I? And those are the marks for all the torches. Hopefully I can get back over this way. Well, let's get back out of there. Nicely done, picked up in two seconds. That's the way I like it. Does he actually stop saying stuff about, ooh, there must be treasure on this island if you've picked it all up or something like that? I'm just wondering that about him, really. Was the silence when I was clicking on him going, hmm. I'm expecting him to say more, but he's not really doing it. So, with that said, let's use the slate again. And get it first time. Treasure right next to the golden frog. Well, then two more islands to check out, including power-ups. Well, that said, let's go over here quickly. And get salvaging. And we're off indeed! Well, Jolene's not going to catch me up over here. Enemy sighted, you say? Well, this is probably the wrong time for me to lower this then. I don't think I can shoot the cannon at the same time. Ooh, Blue Ruby, don't mind if I do. I'll just zip past you guys, you weren't much of an issue. Yet again, more blowy friends. Or enemies, as I really count them. She may blow me away. Oh, it's going to be a red one again, isn't there? Right, let's... Oh no! Use my uber control! Get out of there! So how am I going to get this up? Do I want to take it far over to the left-hand side? Yes. I want to get you out this way, but then I want to get you into the center as quickly as possible here. I don't mind if you blow me now. You're not blowing me into anything. As long as I can get away from those guys fast enough. We should be completely safe for full speed exit. Woo, I've got some of my skills back. It really is a treasure hunting time. Well, I really thought we were just kind of neglecting on the side questery a little bit. And we got the insect wheel ship part. Yes! Like we haven't seen a lot of these ship parts before, my luck seems to be terribly bad with this kind of thing. So the Melita Island we go, where well, there should be at least a fair few grappling item treasures, I'm sure one underneath the ground in fact. Would be the main one, that I remember. I'm gonna hit 6,000 rupees if these enemies keep coming at me. I need to try harder not to get hit by me. Stop funding my adventures! I've already got enough cash. Is there any big payoff still to do? Is Tingle gonna appear and require me to translate loads of maps with him? At that point in time, I just give up. Still, there are definitely islands off to the side, and I gotta say, suspicion, suspicious, suspiciousness. Islands like that are the ones we are interested in looking at, but... Well, that's said and done, we can't get there from that side. Seems like we have to go up and round to the top. Hmm. It really does seem that way. Okay. Excuse me, my lady. We're coming through. First and foremost, we want to be jumping across a couple of blocks. And not getting hit by you. Or you, bat. Well, you should give me five rupees, I guess. Now, over here, and I'll pick up a power gem. Tons of gems coming out at the moment, that's for sure. 
Right, I know you're gonna jump out of me here, Zora Man. I was hoping I could just steal your shield. But no, we'll just keep on going. We don't need to fight you at this point in time. We just need to get up above. So well, that said, where was it again? Ah, not menu. Ah, don't worry, the bat's gonna get me. Or not. Let's get up and see about going round. And to be honest, it might look like we need to go, hmm, up the top end as well, because there's an island up there. Right, so... Well, that's no good. That's just going to drop me straight in the water. Can't pull the tree. I can pull you. Wayfarer's words number four. What a discovery on the Isle of Gust. Yes, I know, but I was hoping a little bit of help here. Well... That's all I can really do with this at the moment. Hmm... Unless you give me another method of travel. Well, that's fine by me. Um, we need to go down now. Well, why am I jumping round if there's something here or not? That's the question. Is there something by one of these trees? You better not have gone too far there, chicken. I need you, if anything. Well, hitting that did nothing. There doesn't seem to be anything else on this island of worth. Oh no, I can see it now. There's an obvious bit of dirty grounds. I was right to dig by trees, but the wrong ones and. That one's all the way up there. Can I even get round there at this point? What on earth? Another treasure map is ours for diligent searching. Not bad. Come with me, chicken. Oh, uh, chicken. Well, the chicken served me well. And now I'm just jumping off because I didn't realize my grappling hook wasn't on. Ah! But now what we need to do is go up the rest of the island. With that, back down into the secret cave and through. You're not going to stop me, sir, no matter what. I don't need to fight you. There's no money monetary gains that I need. I don't need to drop down there either. I keep going, oh, okay then, but still, I keep seeing rupees and I always just charge towards them. Yes, I'm not going to hit you. I'm not that silly. I did honestly click the controller, though. I was like, I've got to get you. Oh, wait a second. Aha, dodged. Right, so from here... Okay, we're not grabbing onto that. This is a tightrope situation, because that's way too near. And well, that's said and done. I will take myself another Courage Gem. So, with even more treasures, even more gems claimed, or even more treasure maps after salvaging a fair bit, let's head on to the one final island, eh? So we come round to Spirit Island once more, though there is actually more exploring to do here as well, because if you remember, if you remember indeed, there was ways to go. So, let's get searching around where there's lots of stuff being shot about. Wait guys, what are you up to? Well, I can defeat you with a grappling hook, so I don't even need to challenge you head on, but treasure chests all around on this island, and I want to grab them. Now, I wonder if I can reach that one from here. Indeed I can. Let's stop at least one of them shooting at me. Ah, another one. Not a problem. That guy, however, is. Right. So, that... Like, like. Go away now. Oh, I need to keep my angle. That rupee got nudged. That rupee is not legit. Well, I've got arrows, I've got tons of them, and for that reason, I'm not letting any of these guys get close to me. I'll take the singular one rupee that they were trying to bribe me and trick me with. Yeah, like I believe- oh, You nearly got me then! You're a real rupee now. 
When I see a rupee get nudged like that, it kind of becomes ridiculously obvious that something isn't right. But for that, for our trouble, we get ourselves a power gem. Nicely done. So back we go, I guess. I'm guessing we can still grapple on to open up treasure chests, but what we're really... Ah, eh, eh, get off me. Interested in. It's two times the power-ups. Hello. The spring is filled with mysterious light. Which spirit gems do you want to present? Well, wisdom and courage, wisdom and courage. So far you have found 13 wisdom gems. With this many gems, the spirit of wisdom's power will be awakened. Come forth, spirit of wisdom. Using the gems that Olis has collected, you must now recall the true extent of your spirit power. The half extent. Not the true, I wish you could. If it doesn't work that way, as the spirit of wisdom has been powered up, wisdom now protects you. Your shield's defense is much greater. Swap spirits from the collection screen. What does courage do then? May the divine protection of the spirits be with you everywhere you venture. I'm sure they will. Well, we still got more. That's for sure. So courage is presented next. And Sierra, you can get improved as well. In fact, we've overtaken wisdom with courage. Come forth. Using the gems that Olive has collected, you must now recall the true extent of your spirit power. Half extent. It's not true yet. I was wondering if it start glowing green now, but no! The spirit of courage has been powered up. Your sword now hills shock waves. May the divine protection of the spirits be with you everywhere you venture. Shock waves? Well, I gotta say, that was the more interesting sounding one of the lot. Whoa, what's going on here? So now I've got sword laser beams. And by the sound of it, more defense, which I'm not sure how that would be represented as. I guess I'd have to be attacked to kind of see what kind of extra defense I've got here. But, oh no, actually, it is represented as... On the heart bar, apart from the fact that... Walking into enemies can now daze them? My heart bar is now covered by blue light, so we have ourselves two new power-ups. Two crazy things though, of course, Spirit of Power is going to probably be more useful in terms of just general adventuring because of our battling power that it gives us. With all these power-ups and all these treasures collected, let's head to the Temple of the Ocean King next episode. So join me then for more Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.